We're going to evaluate the integral of cos x divided by e to the x, and this is a tricky integral to do. We're going to do it using the most popular method, which is integration by parts. This isn't my favorite way to do this, but check out this method, see what you think, and then check out my favorite way, and then you can decide which way that you like better. Okay, we're going to set u equal to cos of x, and then dv equal to e to the negative x, because when it's negative, that makes it in the denominator. If we take the derivative, du equals negative sine x dx, and if we integrate dv, we get v equals negative e to the negative x. So we'll take these and we'll plug them into the integration by parts formula right here to get u times v, so this is u times v right here, minus the integral of v, which is right here, du, and du is negative sine x. This negative I've cancelled with this minus to make it positive right here, So and I brought the negative, kept this negative inside here. Okay, at this point it doesn't look like things really helped us. We have the same integral to evaluate, except we just exchanged a cosine for a sine. But this is the trick. We're going to do integration by parts again, <laughs> where we set u equal to sine of x, dv equals to negative e to the negative x, this part right here. If we take the derivative, du equals cos x dx, and then integrate dv to get v equals e to the negative x. Now we'll take these and plug them into our integration by parts formula for this term we get this right here. So this is the integral we're trying to evaluate, equals this term comes along for the ride. This is the u times v for this part right here, minus the integral of v, which is right here, du, and du is cos x, now, and plus our integration constant. Now, if we look at this, these two integrals are the same. And that's the one, that's the integral that we're trying to evaluate. So we can transpose this to the other side. And then for fun, I'm going to factor out this e to the negative x. And what we got is right here. So there's now two of these integrals when this comes to the other side. And I factored out the e to the negative x out of here. And this cos x is negative. So I just rearranged these terms and had the negative on this side rather than deal with the negative right here. To find out what the integral is, we divide by 2 to get the integral we want. And we're done. Now, it was a lot of work. We had to do integration by parts twice. There is a better way, in my opinion, anyways. I have a favorite way to do this integral. Be sure to check it out and see what you think.